In this video, we'll look at Euclid's algorithm, an ancient and powerful method for finding the greatest common factor between two numbers. So we're going to call our numbers A and B, and we'll start with the example that A is 51 and B is 21. Now, the main principle behind Euclid's algorithm is that any number that divides 51 and also divides 21 has to divide the difference, 51 minus 21, or 30. Now, the reason that's true is the distributive property, and I won't go into it here, but it's an important thing to look at, very, very important property underlying much of number sense in elementary mathematics. Okay, so I'm going to take the difference here. And now, because it might be later, later on in the process, it might not be that we have a bigger number in column A than in column B, and I, I want the difference of the larger number minus the smaller number. So I'm going to put this in the absolute value function, ABS, and then I want the difference of A cell A2 minus B2. So the absolute value function just takes away the minus sign if it's negative, and that's what I want, bigger minus smaller. And that's really the crux of the whole algorithm. So what we're going to do now in cell B3 is just take the smaller of the two numbers we started with. So I'm going to use the minimum function. And you can do a number of cells here. I'm just going to do the minimum of A2 and B2. Okay, so the idea is that any number that divides 51 and 21 divides their difference, which is 30. And then any one number that divides 51 and 21 and 30 divides their difference, et cetera, et cetera. So I can drag these formulas down. And you see, anything that divides 30 and 21 also divides 9. Also divides 9 and 21. And you see that here we would be doing 9 minus 21, but the absolute value function made it so we actually do 21 minus 9. And sometimes the numbers get a little bigger, but we settle on 3, which is the greatest common factor. And to prove that, we have to also go back up which I won't go into the details, but basically we know that anything that divides the greatest common factor also divides 3, and then we can kind of go back up and show that 3 divides these two numbers, which is simple to show in this case, um, but a little more interesting to show in general. And that is basically it, Euclid's algorithm. So we have recursive equations here. We can change the numbers. Let's try 119 and 63. We see greatest common factor is 7. As soon as we start getting the zeros in here, we've got the greatest common factor. Let's um, make these columns a little wider. Try some big numbers. 913,104 and 57,460. So this takes longer. We can see greatest common factor is 68. Now, repeated subtraction, what we're doing here, is also division. So there is a shorter method to do the Euclid to do Euclid's algorithm that's based on division and remainders, and that's a good follow-up to this activity. I find that the um, the algorithm in this form with just subtraction, which is the way it appears in Euclid's elements is actually fairly simple for students to understand. Uh, it doesn't have that extra step, and it makes sense to them.